creating shapes in Active Inspire is uh, fairly simple. You use the shape tool, which on the toolbar or in, in the toolbox is the red square and the yellow circle. When you click on it, it brings up a window with all the different shapes. The colors at the top will be the fill color, and the color with the X through it is a transparent um, fill, which means that'll make your shape transparent so you could see through it. You do have some lines that you can use, and you have all these other shapes. If you go all the way down to the bottom, where this um, the double arrow is if you click on that that'll give you even more shapes and lines and arrows so I'm going to choose this star shape and I'm gonna make it red and the color on your toolbox makes the outline color so I'm gonna choose a blue outline color and I'm gonna come out here and I'm going to click and drag and make my star I'm gonna make another one with a transparent background just to show you what that looks like when you drag that when you drag that star with the transparent background on top of another one you can see that you can see through it so that's the X and the fill color okay now um, if you want to change the color of the shape you can use the fill bucket or the fill tool it looks like a paint bucket you click on that click on the color that you'd like to change the shape to and you just click inside the shape you can do the same thing with the line of the shape so if I want to do the blue line change it to purple you have to make sure that the the actual paint drip on the icon is touching the line and if you don't get that you'll have some problems so that's how you change the color when you select the shape select the object you get the marquee handle toolbar where you can move rotate um, bring up this menu where you can do some other uh, options have some other options to modify your shape the transparency slider you can make it transparent um, bring forward send back you could duplicate it also you can make it bigger by clicking on the increase size object button or this big star and the decrease size object will make the sm star smaller um, the last one is the end shape points button and what this does is it shows the points and then in this case the star has one point but we can click and drag on that point and manipulate this shape it that tool is great for um, it's great for creating word bubbles because if I select this circle and do the points shape it shows me all the points of that circle or oval and now I can drag these out and start making a word bubble that students can come up to the board and write and write in.